Hey guys, I want to talk again about painting your handgun or rifle sights for cheap. I originally did a video a couple weeks ago about this uh, glow on sight paint, and I got an actual uh, a surprising amount of positive comments and positive emails about it that people weren't aware that this product even existed, and uh, they really liked the idea. And I just wanted to share some other methods of doing it that are even cheaper than this uh, paint, because this little thing here was actually in that neighborhood of like five or six bucks. So I wanted to share some uh, other methods with you guys because it was such a a positive response. I know the video didn't get a ton of hits, but considering how many people watched it and how many people sent me emails, I feel it was a very successful video because a lot of people really felt like they, they picked something up from it. So without further ado, um, you can go to Walmart or any other big box store and in the craft section you can find acrylic paint usually in some neon colors this one here was like a buck 99 at walmart and it's a nice bright pink color which actually stands out really good in my opinion um, i think the pinks and the oranges stand out really well and this uh yellow which is uh glow in the dark by the way also and this is also a buck 99 at walmart and the cool thing about this guys is if you buy this you can also use this on your fishing lures so if you are doing some night fishing that's a really cool way to uh spice up your fishing lures and it does work uh back in my uh days when i used to be able to fish you know before i had kids and i could fish a lot more i'd often go out at night for walleye and i would frequently use like a glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint on the uh on the lures and it really did seem to help so it is not an extra cool uh kind of survival thing to have because uh you can do some stuff and make homemade fishing lures and stuff like that with that as well but back on track here guys your next option of course like we said these were like a buck 99 and there's enough here to do your sites your cousin's sites your uncle's sites your cousin's uncle and your uncle's cousin and probably all of their friends and maybe even that whole zip code you can also borrow some of this nail polish. Uh, a lot of the kids nowadays use these very bright neon nail polishes, also glow-in-the-dark nail polishes. It's very easy just to borrow them from someone or have them, you know, just give it to you <laughs> if you can uh, shake them down for it. So these ones here were one that I uh, borrowed from my niece. She was, uh, she's four years old and she was kind enough to loan me these for this video to kind of show. And they, uh, do very well and a very popular way to uh, brighten up your sights and uh, the only thing you really have to do is, is if you really want them to be a little more durable you can of course put a clear coat over them but the sights I've done I don't bother with the clear coat because this acrylic stuff is uh, pretty tough and if it does chip off you know you can always paint a fresh coat on so there you go guys another and some other cheap cheap ways to uh, spice up your handgun sights and it really does help i've been uh, doing this now for quite a few weeks and i've been training now that the weather's better and you know my kids a little older i've been training every weekend and doing some shooting and i really definitely notice a difference in my uh in my accuracy with the painted sights i'm able to focus a lot better on the front sight and i think it helps me pick up targets quicker and i think it helps a little bit with my accuracy because i'm not struggling so hard to uh focus because when you have these bright colors on the front it really draws your eye to them so i think it really can uh be a really big upgrade to your firearm and your shooting because it does just draw your eye right to it and plus if you are in those low light conditions as you can see these do have a little bit of glow to them it's not coming out that good sorry guys but they are pretty bright in uh low light conditions once they've been out for a little bit so hope you enjoy guys